All right, here we go. This is a little tiny review and my personal take on this tiny little camera. It is the Insta360 Go 2. Replicating the Rainmaker's uh, photograph where he said that the uh, the height of the camera was two and a half gummy bears. Well, it is about two and a half gummy bears. These gummy bears are from the Haribo Star Mix uh, Sweeties. So if you want to do your own little comparison, you, you can. Uh, but uh, I've reshot this video so many times, I've eaten half of them already. Uh, yeah, okay, so the camera gets hot and will only run for up to about 15 minutes before it switches itself off. Um, now, there are some tips and tricks that other people do, and I would recommend that you go and have a look at some of those videos. But for me, uh, it, this camera is, well, it's quite it's quite small, and it, once you've, one of the accessories that I've, that comes with the kit, you, know, you get all these three accessories with the kit. Okay, so this pendant goes around your neck, under your shirt, and that clips on. So that imagine that's under your T-shirt. So you've got your camera there, hanging around your neck. But if you're anything like me and you're a little bit overweight, you've got a bit of a bit of a chest going on. Um, I found that adding these bits of paper, it's folded cardboard and a piece of uh, sticky tape that I've had in the car, being a Boy Scout. Uh, helps to keep the camera pointing down otherwise the camera points up and you and you get all you get is trees and you don't get anything below uh, eye level it, it points upwards and it's a bit annoying the second uh, thing that comes with it is this uh, holder swivel mount so it's any anyway um, so it's also underneath what they what they recommend if you're going to go swimming is to have it in this configuration if you want to stick it to something like above your cooker and you want to show your cookery programs you simply remove it there's a plastic sheet on the back plastic sheet on the back and you remove that and it gives you a nice sticky surface which you can then stick it to anything you like i haven't used it yet so we'll come to that later uh, it's got a little lanyard so you can wrap it around your wrist the other thing I quite like is this um, thing for your cap you can then tilt it whichever way you like and take photos using the remote control switch on the remote you just press the button here and it turns it on Press it again, and it will connect with the camera. Uh, that's the camera making little vibration noises. You can, op there's a switch on the front here, where you press that button and it will start recording instantly, but you have to configure that on your mobile phone app. Uh, it, there are other better sites than mine that will show you how to do that exactly. Uh, but it's quite simple. You just you just simply select that you switch it whichever way whichever way you switch it on. It always reverts to its uh, standard setting, which was Pro Video. Now Pro Video, if I can zoom in a bit, there we go. Uh, Pro Video is the best video mode to shoot in. Pressing the left button, sorry, pressing the right button, will scroll through the menus, and that will give you different shooting modes. So if I press it again, that's it, time shift. That's, uh, oh, it's gone to sleep again. That's time lapse. You can also do nightscape as well. Slow-mo, settings, back to video. Uh, that will give you standard video, but it's not quite as good quality as pro videos. But you also get photo, pro video, and you get HDR video as well, which still isn't quite as good as pro video. So you go back to your pro video, I can find it again. There's pro video and stick to that. 
Uh, and if I press record on there, it brings up another screen here. I don't know if you can see that properly, but this battery symbol here shows that the case battery has two charges left, two charges to charge up your camera. Your camera battery voltage is, sorry, ca capacity is now at 82%. And the timer says that's how many minutes you've been recording for. It's coming up to 28 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. Now, if you press and hold the record button, it allows you to get into the menu to change the settings of the camera for that particular recording mode. You can also do it on your on your app, which is on your phone or iPad or whatever you've got. Uh, and that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Uh, so the, the downside really is that you've got a limited amount of time to record, about 15 minutes. Maximum recording time is 30 minutes and that uses up all your memory. So you then have to, after 30 minutes, you then have to stop, transfer all your data across to your phone, and then you can start to use your little camera again. So for me, as a, uh, a cyclist, and I, I do a lot of recording, I just put my camera on record, and I know I've got a roughly an hour to record using my GoPros. Whereas this thing here is very limited. You either use the remote, so you have to use one hand all the time to, uh, to operate the camera, uh, with, with the camera actually attached either to your peak or to your chest or held in your other hand uh, it, it really is it's not as handy to use as a GoPro uh, on a tripod the, the I'll close up the case I shall show you um, at the back of the case there's actually two little legs that come out I can open there's one and there's the other and that actually will act as a, as a tripod. Once the camera case is open, I can do it one handed. There we go. Yes, I'm a genius. All right, there you go. So that, that will act as a very, very wobbly tripod. Uh, yes, so there you have it. So in conclusion, it's probably not the best camera out there. It's it's small and neat, but if it had a memory, if you could increase the memory capacity of the uh, camera, that would be absolutely ideal. I'm pretty sure that in the next couple of uh, versions of this Go 2, maybe the Go 3, will have a, a memory slot so you can expand the memory. Um, but you, you, uh, they'd have to improve the uh, the battery capacity. Because, like I said, you only get 30 minutes of recording uh, at the moment. And that you have to recharge uh, the camera with the camera case. There's the, uh, I forgot to mention, There's the, you've got a USB-C charging port, which is very good these days. I do like the USB-C. And then you've got the standard uh, threaded connection that you find on most camera bodies. So there you go, that's the Insta360 Go 2. A bit small and fiddly, but if you like walking around town, it will sit on your chest, and if you've got a white shirt on, most people won't even notice it, to be honest. Uh, yes. No, I did. I walked around uh, Cardiff with it sat on my chest, taking pictures. But like I said, it was pointing upwards, so the picture didn't come out very well. So that's why I had to change... Ideally, what I would like to see would be to these bit of string attached to the back of this block so that it will actually hang that way down. You're actually relying on it pressing against you, the weight of it to push, push on your chest to point, point the camera slightly, uh, slightly more level than it was giving me. But then not everyone is as fat as me, so there you go. But yeah, that, that's it. The Insta360 go to handy little pocket camera uh, for those moments uh, that you might have forgotten your GoPro, but it, it doesn't run for a long time uh, and you can't extend the memory. Um, so, but otherwise, yeah, it, um, one other thing I forgot everything is, is it can be edited 
in the app at the end of the video. At the, once you've finished shooting a video, you download the your, your movie to your phone and then you can edit it. You can change the angles, you can change the aspect ratio, you can change the, the lens setting from action camera to wide action, narrow and linear. Um, I'm not, not sure about this, the slow-mo, but we're, I haven't really um, looked into that. But yeah, but from your, from your app, you can change most things on your GoPro. Oh, so you can change most things on your Insta360 Go 2. Uh, yes, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But anyway, there you go. That's it. It's, um, my honest review. Bit fiddly, but it's okay for sure if you want to do short clips.